everyone, I'm Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking about seven apps that I use to stay organized. Now, I know lots of you have been asking for some organization content here on this channel. And so you're welcome. We're diving right in. So this video isn't going to go into everything that I use to stay organized because some of those things I mostly use on desktop and I wanna be talking about apps. So some of these are only on my phone. Some of them do have a desktop counterpart. Using them on my phone is part of my process. You know what I'm saying? And we've got a bit of everything, just like life organization, photo organization, documents, all that good stuff. And I have my phone here, so I'm gonna be screen recording so you can see what I'm talking about. Before we get into my list, I just want to say that these are things that work for me. They might not necessarily work for you. Also, my systems aren't necessarily perfect. They're just what I have. So I'm talking about these in the way that I use them. You can take from that what you will. I'm not recommending them to everyone because not everything works for everyone. But I also am recommending them all because I like them. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into it. So the first app is Google Drive. This is where I keep everything, and I mean everything. I pay for the level which gives you one terabyte of storage space, and that's because I deal with video, and video files are quite large, and so I need all of that space, but I think I've used about half of it. Like I'm at like 500 <laughs> gigabytes, it's a lot. Recently, I made my entire document storage situation cloud-based. So before it was just like on my MacBook, like on the MacBook, and if something had happened physically to that MacBook, it would be gone. And actually now I work between having a desktop PC and a MacBook. And so Google Drive works on both of those and is brilliant. And phone. So the reason why the Google Drive app specifically helps me stay organized is because it's just, I have everything on my phone. And specifically, it's useful for accessing photos from photo shoots and also photos and GIFs and like social media assets for videos. So if I go into my work folder and then we have a whole folder for photo shoots and it goes by year. I recently changed this. <laughs> and there's all of those photos there. So if anyone's just like, I need a headshot or if I'm like, oh, I wanna post like one of these on Instagram, like all of the like proper full files are all there and it's lovely. And then in terms of YouTube stuff, um, if we go into my editor folder and we go videos and final videos plus assets. So the sustainable fashion, that was like a recent one that I did. And then we have like the Instagram thing and all of the GIFs and I can just like save these direct to my camera roll. And so I can then post them onto Twitter and Instagram and all of that good stuff. Also, sometimes if I'm doing like out and about vlogs, I film those on my phone because it's good quality stuff. And then I can just put it straight into the Google Drive for the footage folder. Obviously I use Google Drive for pretty much all things, but that is specifically how it is useful and helps me stay organized with my phone. The second app is my note-taking app and I use Evernote. And the reason why I use Evernote is because Thomas Frank recommended it. <laughs> um, no, but seriously. Evernote is where so much of my random stuff goes. I keep notes for video scripts in there. I also just like have personal notes of like things that I need to remember. Whenever I have a new project idea and I'm just like trying to brain dump all of my ideas and like how I think it would work, like that just goes into Evernote and there'll be like a whole note for that. And so when I'm ready to work on it potentially, like I know where to find all of those random notes. It's basically for stuff that like doesn't deserve its own Google Doc. Like it doesn't deserve a full document but it still needs its own place. And what's great about Evernote is that you can like upload photos to it, you can like attach documents, you can just add things to it. So it feels like a real dumping ground of information. But this is Evernote. This is, um, here we go, look, this is my note for this video. It's just like, they're very easy. So you can have lots of 
notebooks and then within notebooks you have all of the notes so i have like a books tbr one um a personal notebook one and then my work stack has lots of stuff in it so we have like a generic work thing um my podcast has lots of like notes associated with like video scripts as a whole thing and then like youtube channel general i'm scared of opening any of these because you do get previews of notes and i'm like what is in them so you know when you're just like going about your day going about your week and things just come up you're like oh an idea for this or like oh i need to remember to do that or someone is like oh my god you should totally read this book or you should totally go see this exhibition or you should watch this tv show and you're like yeah yeah yeah, i'll check that out yeah i'll totally check that out and you like write it down somewhere on your phone and then you forget about it and then suddenly you realize you've got like 100 notes and each one of those notes has got like one line of like one book one tv show that you completely forgot to go check out did you hear that that was mona just like doing her doing her morning farts but the way the quick capture works is that everything that comes up every stupid idea that comes to my head every recommendation that anyone gives me it just like all goes in that one note and then when that note gets a bit busy or like once a week i go through it and then like sort all of those things to where they need to go or i like take action on it if there is like an easy action that i can take i empty it and it's like fresh for the next week and that has been a huge game changer. App number three is Google Calendar. This is a new one for me. I used to be an iCal gal like through and through but again because I now have a desktop PC that I use I've been making sure that all of the apps and all of the tools that I use like work on both. I know that you can get iCal through desktop but it's just a bit clunky. It's just not great. Um, so I completely switched everything over to Google Calendar and using that on my phone is an absolute breeze. I love it. I think I even prefer it to iCal, but I couldn't tell you why, because I can't remember what iCal is like at this point. But my Google Calendar basically runs my life. That is how I know what I'm doing for the next week, the next day. I don't have this stuff stored in my head. I love my Google Calendar so much. It's one of the permanent apps at the bottom of my phone. As you can see, it's also color coordinated. <laughs> And basically, I mostly use it on the three day view, which is what you see now. It's just like you can see three days at a time. For me, that's like the easiest and makes the most sense to be able to like get full picture and see what see what's going on, see what's up. So for my calendar, the yellow one is what's shared with my management. So they can add stuff onto that calendar. And then I put stuff in there, which is basically like I'm busy like this is what i'm doing and so usually the yellow ones is like appointments or like i need to be somewhere so we both know when i'm busy purple is like personal stuff for me so that's like as you can see my cervical screening and also like stuff with friends and gym and then red is like to-do list like this is like get work done and i only recently added this when i kind of learned about calendar blocking i don't use calendar blocking all of the time but sometimes i find it way more useful to like have my to-do list items to have my tasks on my calendar and like with a time to it so as you can see on mine currently we are halfway through filming apps i use to stay organized and then after that i'm filming two more videos um and actually none of them are on my actual to-do list which will come to the app that i use for that later but they're not on that today like they are just on my calendar it's not a perfect system like i said sometimes the videos I need to film are on my to-do list, but not on my calendar. Depends what mood I'm in. <laughs> and then, yeah, I've given myself three hours to create some Instagram stories this afternoon. Obviously, I don't need that. <laughs> it's just in there as like, Hannah, you need to do this today. Okay, now onto some things that I do to organize my photos because I post on Instagram a lot and that's kind of like part of my job as well. So, you know, I like to take stuff seriously a little bit. Although sometimes I wish I took Instagram less seriously i don't know so this app that i use to help organize my instagram grid is called unum 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 i don't actually know how you pronounce it but basically it syncs to your instagram and then you can like see the posts that you already have and then you can put in photos and be like mm, that will look better there and like oh maybe we can put that one there and oh isn't that nice and like maybe let's put that one there oh la la oh what a lovely grid that you have going on i don't know i often use this before I post a picture just to make sure that it like looks good. I don't have a color theme for my Instagram. It definitely doesn't really look visually pleasing. It's more like to not have like 
loads of selfies all next to each other. So that's really useful for me in terms of like organizing what I'm going to post when on Instagram. And if I have a Instagram brand deal coming up and I know what day I'm posting that and what the image is, then I'll put that into Unum and I'll like count the days and like put it in its place and then like make sure that the photos around it all also make sense and so that everything feels nice and cohesive. And the fifth app I want to talk about is Photos on your iPhone. So I think this is maybe like the only like iOS OS thing that I still really use. I haven't switched over to Google Photos. The idea of doing that is very overwhelming to me. If anyone out there has done it and would recommend, please let me know. But for now, I'm using Photos and it is great and I have like my own little systems for how things work. So the way that I organize my photos and things that are like really useful for me, the main thing is that I have an edit and edited photo albums. So anytime I take a bunch of photos, I go through them, I delete ones that I do not like and then I put the ones that I do like in this like folder, which is like my to edit folder. And then when I have some time, I sit down and I'll edit them. I edit with uh, Visco and then all of those edited photos go into this edited album. And there are so many photos in here, like loads of things that I like haven't posted. And so they're just kind of there. I don't know if, if I'll ever post some of them, but they're there in case. And then also when I'm organizing photos in Unum, I go into the edited folder and I like take them from there. And I'm just like, <laughs> you get it. That has been super helpful to organize my photos because I just feel like your recents and like your whole camera roll, things just get lost amongst screenshots, amongst fucking memes. I don't know. I don't really have memes on my phone, but I find that this really helps me to focus and like calms me down because like when things aren't organized, I, I get a bit panicky, not gonna lie. Um, and so it, it relaxes me. It calms me down knowing that I know where the photos are that I need. So I have this album called Brands with a little money emoji. And so anytime I take any photos that are for a campaign that I'm doing and then any of the Instagram stories with like the text that I then like download and send off to them, literally anything that could possibly be used for brand deal goes in here. So that when I'm like organizing and like sending them the content and sending them the stories or, or whatever, I know where to get it. And then when it comes time to post, I'm like, it's all here. It's all <laughs> in one place. I know where to go to find it because sometimes you'll find yourself posting stuff on Instagram or Instagram stories like weeks after you actually created it. And so finding those can be really difficult. So that's why I like just have it all in one place. App number six, this is going to seem really basic, but it's basically the clock app on my phone, but not for what you think it is, waking up in the mornings. No, my phone sleeps in here. My phone sleeps in the office. I have a Google Home by my bed and that acts as my alarm because my bedroom is phone free zone, or at least my phone. Dan has his phone, but that's his own issue. Genuinely would recommend changed my world this year, not having my phone in the bedroom. But the thing that I do use the clock app for, which is so useful and really helps me be on time, is just setting alarms in the middle of the day for when I need to leave the house to get somewhere. And I know what you might be thinking, but Hannah, like calendar apps also like can set you reminders and tell you when you need to leave and stuff. And I'm like, yes, but also I don't want notifications from my calendar. But basically what I do is I'm like, okay, I need to be here by this time. That means I need to leave my house at this time in order to get there. And then I set the alarm for 15 minutes before that. And I give myself 15 minutes um, for many reasons. One, because I'll need to pee and fill up my water bottle and pack my bag and grab some things. Just basically like it gives me time to get my shit together before I need to be like, out of the door. Or in other scenarios, I'm like super deep into work. So I'll snooze it for 10 minutes and then I can just focus and finish the task that I'm on. And then when the alarm goes off again, I know I have five minutes to get out of the house. So one of the reasons why I really love doing this is because it means I can focus on my work and I'm not worrying and constantly checking the time of like, when do I need to leave or like da da da, da because I set the alarm and then I can just relax and I can just focus on work. And then my alarm will just go off when it needs to go off. And then I'll be like, oh, I need to leave now. And then also obviously 
it helps me be on time. And finally, app number seven that I use to stay organized, the PS de Resistance is my to-do list app. And I use Todoist and I use the free version of this. Don't really think I need the like extra things that it offers. The free one works fine for me. In the same way that I said that my Google Calendar basically runs my life, so does my to-do list. This is what it looks like. This is today, yikes. It's all possible. A, a lot of the things that go on my Todoist versus my Google Calendar are like smaller tasks, like things that just don't take very long and I can just like tick off real quick. So that's what goes on here. And then also I have like repeat tasks of like posting videos to Patreon, posting podcasts to Patreon, posting videos on YouTube. And then I also have like Instagram and read repeated tasks every single day. I've recently started using the priority function, which is like red is top priority and then orange less so. And then blue is like least priority. I've just started using that and I love it. It just makes it all a bit more colorful, do you know what I mean? It looks great. One of the things I love about this app is that you can have like different projects, the YouTube channel, Hormone Diaries, brand stuff, podcast stuff, and then like personal things as well. Um, as you can see at the bottom there, I created a Handan um, <laughs> project, which is shared with my partner, Dan. Um, that was futile. He's never gonna use a calendar or to-do list app in his life. And this is what I have to do today. Ah! We're getting through it though. We're gonna smash this to-do list, I'm telling you. Here's the great thing about this. So if I wanted to add something, it's all done in text, so I could be like, film apps video tomorrow and then you do hashtag and then you do the project Ta da and so you don't actually have to click on things it's just all done in typey type type text but why not let's just add that shall we Ooh, and then i can tick it off because we're basically done oh i i added it tomorrow <laughs> done tick yeah completed almost so those are seven apps on my phone that i use to stay organized i'd love to hear in the comments what you think of them what apps you use to stay organized or if you use the ones that i use but like in a different way i'd be intrigued to hear about that please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because i make new videos every week and i'll see you in the next one bye